Hey guys, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. In this episode, we are going to dwell into a fragrance house called Al Rahab. And uh, this is like the first, not, well, it's not the first, I actually own uh, one fragrance from this company, but this is the first uh, oil that I've purchased. Uh, this is a fragrance which is not mentioned a lot on YouTube. I, I don't think it's mentioned at all on YouTube, so I, I think this is pretty exclusive. A lot of people seem to dwell into a lot of um, really popular Al Rahab fragrances like Sultan, Silver. In fact, Silver is the fragrance which I own in a Eau de Parfum spray bottle. Um, and a lot of people seem to dwell into a fragrance called Coco Musk or Choco Musk, a lot of people pronounce it. But uh, there's a lot of other really famous fragrances from this hat. And the reason I got a sort of under the radar fragrance from the house is because I wanted to see if their other fragrances were really good. So I didn't want to get something popular. And this fragrance is called Half Moon. Uh, I paid about £1.99 for this. This is a six mil oil. This is what the box looks like. It's a triangular box. It's really cool. It reminds me of a Toblerone uh, box. Um, the little bottle inside is really cute. Wait till you see this. <laughs> this is what they look like. So you can see that compared to my hand, this is how big they are. Um, this is a six mil uh, little roll-on, which you just dab on your hand like that. Uh, they're actually really efficient, you know? I was When I was looking at them online, I was thinking to myself, I, I hope they're not, like, cheap. I mean, obviously it was inexpensive, but cheap is, you know, I didn't expect it to be... Uh, this good, put it that way. Uh, the roll-on works very, very well, and the juice is amazing. Now, let's get straight into this. Like that, like that. Now, I've been wearing this all morning, and it smells great. So, we'll get into this. Now, Half Moon, not popular from the house whatsoever. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys had not heard of this fragrance. Um, I would consider this as a sort of uh, musky floral sort of scent. Um, very, very strange, but uh, that's the only word I can really think about. The year this was released is actually unknown. I haven't been able to find at all. But uh, I have managed to find that it is unisex. Uh, the perfume is obviously unknown. And it's very unpopular. But it's also, here's the thing, I have managed to find a notes list, which is very, very... You know, very, very strange, because not a lot of Al Rehab's fragrances have, like, note breakdowns, but this one does. So, in the top of Half Moon by Al Rehab, we have bergamot, lemongrass, and grapefruit. In the middle, we have white musk, mixed herbs, and mint. And in the base, we have vetiver, vanilla, amber, musk, and leather. So, straight away, off the bat, what do I get out of this fragrance? I've got enough on there, so that should be fine. Now, what I get out of this fragrance is a very unique scent. I couldn't believe how unique this was. Because uh, I was asleep, actually, when my mum brought this into me in th this morning. I was kind of half dead, <laughs> and I, I opened it up and I smelled it. And at first, I was a little bit turned off by it. I, I, I was a little bit, sort of... You know, oh, I'm not too keen on this. But I gave it a chance, and I kept on, you know, rolling it on my hand. And it started to, to, I started to like it, put it that way. It's very unique. That's the only word I can really say about this. Very unique scent, but very good scent. Um, bergamot is very, very visible in the top, and so is the lemongrass. I don't get a lot of grapefruit. I just get an overall citrusy smell, but... It's not typical citrus, by the way. There is something else in the citrus notes that's making this fragrance smell very, very bizarre. But a good bizarre. It's not like an overly strange, weird smell. Just a little bit bizarre. That's all I'm saying. Um, when you first smell this, it you can tell it's inspired from the Middle East. Obviously, Al Rahab, they come from Saudi Arabia. So, very... Um, I like how they've they've got that sort of incense sort of note in this fragrance to give... The feeling that it's from that sort of place uh, very traditional sort of Middle Eastern smell but very very unique that's what I'm saying in terms of the middle notes um, I do get there a lot of various musks I, I don't know if it's like a white musk because it it does smell clean so I'm guessing it could be a white musk but I do get also a lot of herbal qualities coming through and I guess that's coming from the mixed herbs of course but 
I don't get a lot of mint. Um, I mean, it might be a different type of mint, but I don't get a mint that I've ever smelled. Maybe like a peppermint or a spearmint. I don't get any of that, but I, I don't know. It's very herbal, very incense-y, and a little bit citrus. That's all I can really say about this. Yeah, that's all I can really say about it. And in the base, we get that vetiver, the vanilla, and the amber, and the leather. Now, maybe a bit of it, maybe a tiny bit of vetiver. Um, I've actually got the dry down here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's very earthy, very earthy actually, and that's that'll be that'll be coming through with the vetiver. Very green, um, tiny little bit creamy as well from that vanilla note. Um, it's not overly creamy, but it's a little bit. Amber, keep keeping it a little bit sweet, I guess. And leather is certainly very visible. Yeah, certainly very visible, but a very, very good smell. I cannot believe this fragrance is as under the radar as it is. It's so, so bizarre how it is, because it's a really good smell. And I would highly recommend checking this one out. I mean, like I said, it's not popular like the likes of Sultan or Silver, but it's still a very good fragrance. And the, the thing is, whenever I smell this, I cannot help but think of the moon. I cannot help but think of a big white moon, even though it's called Half Moon. It makes you think of the moon in the night sky. It's it's amazing how fragrances can give you a scene in your mind and how they can play tricks on your imagination. But this certainly does that for me. It's it's a very um very well blended scent. That's the thing about it. And after smelling this, it makes me really want to check out more Alrahab fragrances. So I have actually purchased two more roll-ons. I've purchased Sultan and I've also purchased uh Coco musk or choco musk or whatever it's called so please do wait for those in the next few days um yeah so this is a great fragrance and i would highly recommend you check this out so it's a very musky fragrance a lot of incense in there um don't think of it as kind of like an oud fragrance because there's no oud in this but it's very incensey a little bit citrus and musky very very nice fragrance uh very mystical sort of scent when i was smelling it the other day i was well this morning sorry i was thinking it, it kind of reminds me of walking into a uh like a you know a shop that sells like uh dream catchers and incense and they play like mystical music kind of like a voodoo shop sort of thing reminds me of that that sort of thing but it's worth checking out guys i mean love hate you might like it or you might not and the perfume is very long lasting i get at least five to six hours out of this but come on one pound 99 again if, if if it's not for you just keep thinking to yourself well it only cost me 1.99 you know just, just think of it that way. So guys, thank you so much for watching my fragrance obsession. This has been for Al Rehab Half Moon. I forgot the name of it there. And I really do hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you once again for subscribing to my channel. And uh, yeah, just showing the support. It really does mean a lot. And I will see you all in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching. Keep smelling good. And bye-bye for now.